check it out. We're on the Ableton Move and we're working with some custom presets. I bet you've never seen this before. No effect. So with the custom presets, you actually have the ability to remove effects, which you don't in regular presets in live. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get into it. So by the end of this video, you're going to be able to create your own custom presets in Ableton Live and then load them into the move. Now you can see here that once we have loaded a user preset, we actually have this new folder available in the browser of move that wasn't there before, user presets, and we can click on that. Unfortunately, when we map macros, we're not going to be able to see them on the touch sensitive controls. So I definitely would like to see the names of what I'm adjusting because the whole point of this is to like set different parameters that you can adjust with on move. So I think that is kind of missing. But anyway, here's how to do it. So we're first going to need to do some Ableton Live hacking and actually add a text file to our Ableton Live preferences. So we're going to be starting with PC. If you have a Mac, skip ahead to the timestamp below, but you're going to want to open your file browser, go up to this top part here and type percent app data capital A, capital D, and then another percent sign. And that's going to bring you to this roaming folder. Within here, we're going to go into Ableton. You'll select the version you want to edit. We want 12. Here you have another preferences folder. And now we're where we want to be. We can actually right click anywhere within this folder, go to new. And this is important. You're going to want to select text document. And now the most important step is you're going to want to name this options with a lowercase o. So we have options.txt and now we can come in here and edit this file. All right, so we're here on the Mac and the first thing that we need to do is hit command space to open up our text edit. So we could just type in text edit and this will open this up. Now what we need to do is come over to format and make this a plain text. This is going to allow us to save this with command S as a plain.txt file. Now this is important, we need to name this file options and for now we can just save it to the desktop and that's options with a lowercase o. So we'll save that and now we have this little text file on our desktop, we can close this and now we're gonna go to the finder and show you how to get to Ableton's directory. So you're gonna wanna go to your username, mine is that and if you don't see these hidden files you can hit command shift period and command shift period will bring up your hidden files. You can come to this folder called library. And if you scroll down, there's another folder called preferences for all of your apps. And here we have Ableton at the top. I only have live 11 here, but that's not going to make a difference. We can drag this options.txt right in there and then open it again to edit it. Command S to save. And we've got our hidden preferences. All right, so now that we've got Ableton Live set up, let's actually go in and check out what these templates have to offer. So right now we only have a move and note drift template and a drum rack template. So I'm just gonna go ahead and load both of these up into their respective places. So first off, we have the drift template here. You can see that we already have, it looks like a delay here as well as a reverb. And so you can see that Ableton does a real nice job of telling us what to do. Map drift parameters to see them on move and note. Now this is actually a lie because you can't see them, which is really unfortunate. But anyway, if you want to map a parameter, you just go up to it, right click it, and map to one of these macros. Now we only have eight macros on move corresponding to these eight knobs, but that is plenty. And so you can see that we have this outer instrument rack and it says nothing needs to be mapped. And so don't map anything there because you won't be able to access it with move, but otherwise the world is your oyster. You can also add effects and delete effects. As you saw in the previous template, I had deleted both the effects so that we can add them later on. And I think that's really helpful. I don't know why we can't remove effects on move. That seems like, like a bug or something. Basically you load this template in and you map up your eight parameters, fiddle with the sound in live until you like it. And then what you can go ahead and do is come to this outer instrument rack right here. You see if we close everything it's inside and we can right click, you can't see it on the screen because it's blocked off, but down here it says export as move slash note preset we will get an option here. I'll just um, save this to the desktop. Make sure you save the extension, the abl.preset bundle, and change the name to whatever you want. Let's just call this V, 
and then before we go and actually load these up into move let's actually check out the uh the drum rack because this is a little bit different you actually don't have any macros no macro control because the drum sampler kind of has all these these built-in macros for the move such as decay relay release sustain you know all of those things and so we can't override those unfortunately but what we can do and what is super super cool is that within this drum sampler we can actually go ahead and layer our sounds and it looks like we actually have options to more choke groups i'm not sure if that's going to work out i'll have to to test that out to see if that we can set up more than one choke group in ableton and then use it on the move we can also set up the send so in the drum rack it works a little bit differently instead of having two effects after the actual drum rack one of the effects acts like a send and so you can send each pad a specific amount to that send which is really nice rather than having every single signal be sent to that effect can change that here and then swap other effects on the outermost shell and again if we want to come and export this we can right click and yeah i'm sorry that you guys can't see it there's nothing i can really do but export move as note set and we'll just call this uh d and so now that we've exported these presets let's go ahead and jump into the move manager to show you how to load them up so I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than this. We just hit upload and then we can go ahead and find our presets. It looks like here's V. So I'll just control click to select those both, hit open. And now these are on my move. I can literally come in here on the move, hit, let's switch this out. And yeah, so I have D and V already ready to go. And so that is how to load custom presets in Ableton. I really wish that we can see the macros on the screen. That seems like, that, that seems like it should be possible. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.